hi this session we will see how to use data items and how to implement calculation these both are shapes in blue prism okay so let me take an example and then we will see what is the purpose of data item what is the purpose of calculation here let's say if you want to add any two numbers x plus y and then you need to store it into z if you want to do the same thing in any programming language what we need to do we need to declare x and we need to declare y data item for that value for that we need to store the calculation part and then we need to assign that into some other variable as a result for example if it is in c so you may write 10 lines of code if it is in some other language you may write six to seven lines of code and if it is uh, some other scripting you may can write three to four lines of code the same thing if you want to implement in blue prism how easily we can implement let's see this let me create a process for calculation if you have the same process name already it's available then it will not allow you to create another process let's give the some other name and double click on this now here what we need to do we need to add any two numbers for that we will use data item data item we can use to store any single value remember data item is to store only single value not more than one value let's double click on this data item see this in blue prism tool itself it will guide you what you need to do what it is asking name let's give name x description it's up to us and data types data item contains these many different types of data types 10 different data types each and every data type we will use for the different purpose if you don't know what is the purpose of this data type just click on that the right side it will give you the proper information see this date and time it will store the date and time in this format if you use some other thing image it will store the image here like that you can understand each and everything now here number we are going to use numbers the initial value give some initial value let's say i have given five zero data item name is x so like variable variable data type and then value all the things we have given in one place and click ok it means we created a one data item like variable and we have given a data type for that and then we have given a value for that it means wherever you are going to use x in this process then it will take the value of five zero that's the meaning of this same way we need another data item this is for y data type is number initial value nine zero click ok now we have x and y see this we can store any only one value so because only one data type is there we cannot store more than one values here okay now what we need to do with this we need to calculate x plus y we need to do the addition so we are going to use calculation shape see this here calculation shape 
to store any values, we will use data item shape. The same way to implement any calculations, we are going to use calculation. Let's use the calculation shape here. In calculation shape, we can use all the functions, inbuilt functions. No need to struggle to implement. Everything will be inbuilt. And here, name. We are giving addition. And then whatever the data types you have created here, you can able to see those data types here, X and Y we have. What is available, right? Now, if you want to implement any functions, observe this, all these are default inbuilt functions available here. If you don't know which function have to use, just expand this, click on any particular function, then it will give you with the example, see this, one plus two equal to three. So we are using addition and then round on see this 1.47 comma 1 it will round to 1.4 round up it will round up to 1.5 so like this it will give you with example it's easy to understand now our requirement is we are adding two numbers and always the best practice is in operand A and operand B, drag and drop your values because here data item is case sensitive. Remember this data item is case sensitive. Instead of small x, if you give capital X here, then it will throw error. We will see that in so next coming session. Okay, now we have x plus y where we need to store we need to store it in z or some other variable did we create any other variable here no we didn't create any other data item to create that we have a shortcut here observe this give z observe this one read this click here to automatically create a data item of required type right so when you click on this automatically it will create a data item z here by using this expression data types click z created under the number it has been created now click ok and observe see this z has been created wherever you see this icon blindly remember that this icon is to create data items now we create we have x y and then to store the result z so here we have a calculation called addition now if you want to run the process we need to give the link now let's try to give the link now i am trying to give the link from start to y is it accepting no start to z is it accepting because we are not implementing any functionality here. We are not doing anything here. Just these are to store values. Now, observe this. Right? Now we have given a link. Deselect the link. And then always before running a process, what we need to do is we need to click on reset. We don't have any errors. Let's run this and observe. Observe this one. One, four, zero. The calculation is done. Now, if you want to run the same process again, you need to click on a reset. Right? Now, this is how we have implemented a calculation for this one. Now, our requirement is for these same numbers, x and y we need addition result we need multiplication result and we need division result then how to do that only one calculation is for only one expression observe this here we can give only one expression not more than that so let's say if you want to give x multiply y it is not possible because we can store result in only one place 
right? So how to handle this? We don't have any restriction to use more than one shape here. Again, you can use another calculation. Again, you can use another calculation like this. Now, in this calculation, you can give, if you want to type also, you can type, but it should be within the, this braces, square braces, X. What we are going to do, multiply variable nine. This is for multiplication. And then we need to store the result in MUL. And then click on this. Then multiplication it will do. And then it will store the result in this one. Now here, if you observe, this value, it is not coming from any data item. If you give the values like this, then we will call that as hard-coded values. It is not coming from any data item. Okay. Now, another one. Addition result minus multiplication result, we need it as a subtraction. Now observe this. Subtraction we required. Then what we can do is multiplication result minus addition result. Addition result is Z. Then we need to store it in subtraction. Now, see this one? This is possible, but it should be in a sequence order. Now let's try to give the link. Click on pointer and then observe this. Now reset it and then let's run the process. See this? It is implementing addition multiplication, subtraction. So all these calculations, it has implemented by using this. There is no limit. You can use n number of calculation shapes here in a particular process. Next, we will see how to use multi calculation before that we will go through some advanced things like how to validate what is a validation what is evaluate expression what it mean by enable calculation zoom so we will see those things in next session thank you